please don't be mad. <laughs> oh, sweetie. We're not mad. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> In 2015, Pixar brought us a movie that touched all of our hearts emotionally. Quite literally. A movie that literally broke me down and still to this day makes me cry. That movie was called Inside Out, an original story that most of us fans consider as one of Pixar's best. When an original movie comes from Pixar, it always gets exciting, and this one didn't disappoint, as it was praised both by critics and audiences. Now, almost a decade later, we will be getting a sequel to the beloved film. But what could this film have in store for us? When will it be released? And who can we expect to see returning? What theory do I have for the perfect sequel story? All those answers and more will be answered in today's video. So stick around as here's everything you need to know about the upcoming Pixar sequel, Inside Out 2. Back in September 2022, during the D23 Expo's animation showcase, in which lots of exciting new projects were announced, such as Toy Story 5, Zootopia 2, and Frozen 3, Disney also confirmed that Inside Out 2 would be hitting the big screen. It was confirmed that the planned release date for Inside Out 2 would be June 14th, 2024. That is literally next summer. This comes almost exactly nine years after the release of the original, with no big movies releasing that weekend currently. This could be huge for Pixar and Disney, with recent films at the box office having a tough time such as Elemental, which in my opinion is because the theater going experience has been tougher and tougher on people. Not the movie being bad, as Elemental is one of my favorite original stories that has come out of Pixar in recent years. If you love Pixar and Disney, I always say, watch it on the biggest screen you can, with the best Disney fans you know. You will never be disappointed with the magic that happens on screen if you allow yourself to be a kid again. So you may be asking, who will be returning for the second installment of Inside Out? One of the major factors in the success of the original was its talented voice cast, with its enormous variety of celebrated performers turning out some of their best work. For that reason, fans have been desperate to know exactly who will return for the sequel. It has been confirmed that Amy Poehler will be reprising her role as Joy, Phyllis Smith will be returning as Sadness, Diane Lane will be returning as Riley's mom, and Louis Black will be back in his role as Anger. In regard to the other emotions from the original, unfortunately both Mindy Kyle who voiced Disgust, and Bill Hader, who voiced Fear, will not be returning for the sequel in their roles. Their absence is due to reported contractual issues, which if you want my opinion, right now sadness is at the controls for me. I will miss their characters, however this opens up a multitude of emotions that could be introduced in Inside Out 2, which we will get to soon. But first, who is in charge of the new movie? Who are our creators? Well, Inside Out 2 stands as the full-length feature debut of director Kelsey Mann, who has already worked on several other Disney projects, including Lightyear, Onward, and The Good Dinosaur. Inside Out 2 is written by Meg LaFave, who returns after writing the original, with a producer credit going to Mark Nelson from Toy Story 4, and the music produced by Matt Walker. Although, I wish they would have brought back Michael Giacano, one of the best composers for films of all time. So, Matt, you have some major shoes to fill for the sequel. But some of us are probably still wondering, why a sequel? Does it make sense? The answer to that question is this. Why? Wouldn't you as an artist or business person if you have something so commercially acclaimed that resonated with both adults and kids, wouldn't you want to make another? Inside Out was a movie I didn't watch for years. It was one of Pixar's movies that on the outside didn't look like it would be super entertaining to me. A movie about a kid's emotions and how they change as she moves to a new city? Yeah, I'll pass on that one. But years later, I told myself as a Pixar fan, I was gonna go back and watch every Pixar movie that has ever been released, including the ones I never gave a chance to. And let me tell you, when I say I was majorly shocked at how great this movie was and how much it truly impacted me watching the events unfold before my eyes, I vowed to never miss a Pixar movie again. Inside Out showed me these movies aren't just for kids to entertain them, but also as a way to show us adults more about ourselves. Things we may forget to think about or even feel at times. It showed me all emotions are essential to life. Staying in one, even if it is joy, is not always a great thing. Every emotion has its role and its turn to main the controls. They are all needed for us to be us. So when someone asks why we need an Inside Out 2, I tell them, dig deep down in yourself and let your sense of wonder take over. Be excited to experience a new story and potentially learn something more about yourself. And let's be honest, don't your emotions change all the time, especially as you grow up? I think we can all agree that we experience a lot more emotions than just those original core five. So that leaves the question, what new emotions will we be introduced to? As Inside Out came to a close and Riley's emotional roller coaster was coming to a gentle end, 
end, Joy spots a button that reads puberty and hesitates to press it. It is at that moment that directly influences the plot of Inside Out 2. As Pixar's plot for the movie right now reads, follow Riley in her teenage years encountering new emotions. That is literally it. Now, we all know how those teenage years were. If Riley thought her adolescent years were tough with that move, <laughs> she's about to be in store with a whole new world of emotional roller coasters. Sometimes that may not be very forgiving. The first new emotion could be shame, which if you look at the concept art from Inside Out's Blu-ray special features, it shows that this was another emotion considered early on. Teens are often extremely hard on themselves as they begin to desire more independence and take on more responsibilities. Physical changes that occur during puberty can also trigger shame in themselves, which would be a relatable challenge for Riley to face. The positive reception of Turning Red, which tackled the topics of menstruation and feeling out of control of an adolescent body, may encourage more direct exploration of these development realities in Inside Out 2. Shame could also take in some of the personality traits from fear, as being shameful of oneself also leads to fear of not doing things someone wants to do. The second emotion we could see could be love. The end credits of Inside Out added a couple of scenes, just like Pixar usually does. One involved a boy feeling his first crush on Riley and a chaotic reaction by his emotions in the control room. The situation is the perfect link to a sequel as Riley encounters her teenage years. A new emotion related to love would probably have an essential role in the film in the formative sense of showing its limits. Like in the original movie, viewers receive a lesson on emotional balance when sadness shows its importance, and joy cannot do everything. For a new installment, love could also act as an emotion that needs taming, a message that would depart from the most traditional Disney movies. Love could also take some of the personality traits from disgust, as when you love something, you can also develop a disgust or hate for things. So what could Inside Out 2 have in store for us? This brings me to my theory for the perfect story of a sequel for Inside Out. My theory starts here. Riley just started high school with a new school, a much larger school. It almost can feel like moving all over again. This time, just to a more scary, exciting, and sometimes brutal world. As Riley is getting accustomed to this new journey, we notice that she has some new emotions at the controls. With growing up, disgust and fear have moved out to open up the mind to two new emotions, shame and love. Both are needed in this crazy new world of school where emotions sometimes come out of nowhere. As Riley is trying to handle this new concept of life, we experience many times shame and love take over the controls, sometimes without thinking. As we know in high school, there are a lot of influence influences everywhere, and this movie can tackle them all. I believe one concept would be that the boy from the first movie who developed a crush on her at the end of the movie could ask her to the school's dance. A first date for Riley, where the whole time leading up, the emotions at the helm seem to take over uncontrollably as Riley goes through so many different developments, from shame to joy to sadness. The whirlwind of events can mean trouble at times for the emotions, as they try to keep things under control for a maturing Riley. As Riley is getting ready for the dance, we see her being indecisive over over what dress to wear, what makeup to go with, and try not to be embarrassed by her parents, as Goofball Island has taken a back seat when shame entered the picture. This would allow us to get a brief look into the parents' heads again, as life changes with Riley have made her dad's emotional control room being led by confusion, a character I think most dads go through on a daily basis. But especially when it comes to trying to deal with a daughter going through major emotional and physical changes, he truly doesn't understand, but he is trying. As for Riley's mom, her new emotional lead would be empathy a new character that I believe most moms feel for their kids all the time, but maybe a bit more with growing teenage daughters. Riley's mom would understand a lot more than her dad would to the changes happening, and would allow for Riley's mom to have a stronger impact in Inside Out 2. When Riley gets to the dance as the night continues, love starts to take control as other emotions try to contain love. As we all might know, our first love is one of the strongest and sometimes hard to control. Here we are shown if love is a good thing, or if it can lead down a bad path. Is this puppy love, or a deeper feeling? And this theme can be expressed for the entire movie. Love can be bad, it can be good, it can be wrong, it can be perfect. It can be a first crush or someone you spend the rest of your life with. Love is an essential emotion and the other emotions need to allow love to happen for them to continue being themselves. As with love comes joy, sadness, anger, and sometimes even shame. Love can really stand for a lot of things and might be the driving emotion for someone who makes them them. From our hobbies to our interests to the people we are around, love is at the center of it all, as life almost can't exist without it. The movie ends with Riley moving on to college. High school was tough, but what new challenges, adventures, and emotions will we be met with next time? Only the future will tell. But one thing is for sure, I'm here for the emotional roller coaster ride, and I'll continue to have my box of tissues ready for whatever comes next. So will you be watching Inside Out 2? What are your thoughts or theories? Drop them in the comments below. And until the next video, I'll see you at the movies.